Have you ever wondered what's the difference between probability and statistics? Why do they often appear together? Hey guys, it's Emma. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I really want to talk about a topic which took me quite some time to understand, and that is the difference between probability and statistics. I was a little confused by the two terms when I first learned about them, and I was curious to know why they often appear together. I thought it would be helpful to make a video and talk about the difference and relationships between the two explicitly. So in this video, let's focus on the difference and the relationships between the two. First, I will explain the two areas of statistics, descriptive and inferential statistics, then talk about the difference between probability and the statistics. Finally, we will touch the relationships between the two. The goal of this video is really to give you a big picture of statistics and probability to help you understand those core concepts. Let's get started. In statistics, there are descriptive and inferential statistics. As the name suggests, descriptive statistics are used to describe a sample. Such statistics are very straightforward. You simply decide on the sample that you are interested in, obtain the data, and then calculate the summary statistics of the data. These summary statistics are often displayed visually in graphs using common charts you have seen many times, like a bar chart and a line chart, etc. Different from descriptive statistics, inferential statistics use data from a sample to make inferences about the population from which the sample was drawn. Another way to think about this is that the goal of inferential statistics is to draw conclusions based on a sample and generalize the conclusions to a population. Unlike descriptive statistics, there is uncertainty involved in inferential statistics because you are not simply describing a sample, but also trying to infer properties about a larger population. The uncertainty in inferential statistics is typically reflected in a probability, which serves to quantify our conclusions and acknowledge that we cannot state our conclusions with 100% confidence. Let's look at an example. In this article published on Towards AI, the authors did a very good job analyzing data science job market trend for 2021. They obtained the job data from several career portals and conducted descriptive statistics from over 3,000 data science job postings. They look at things such as top companies in the US actively recruiting data scientists, top locations hiring data scientists in the US, and the trend of positions within different groups of experience level. All of them are helpful for job seekers to understand the job market. They might be a little hard for you to see them clearly on the slide, but I have the link to the article in the video description. Feel free to check it out. Now, let's assume that from this sample, you observe that the top two programming languages for data scientists is Python and SQL. And you want to know if this finding also applies to the whole population of data scientist jobs and not just from those 3,000 job posts. In other words, you want to make conclusions about all job openings for data scientists in the US based on a sample of over 3,000 job posts. Now you will need to use inferential statistics, which involve a level of uncertainty as you generalize from the sample to the population of all data scientists job openings. This is a core difference between inferential and descriptive statistics. Next, let's talk about probability. I'm sure you have heard the term many times. To put it simply, it reflects the likelihood that a particular event will occur. The probability of an event is a number between 0 and 1. As you can tell, probability is simply the assignment of numbers between 0 and 1 to possible events. We can obtain the probability of an event at a time, such as flipping a coin, predicting the weather, and predicting indices in the stock market, etc. As we look at the world around us, such as populations of human beings, our social interactions, financial markets, and so on, and we ask ourselves, can deterministic models always capture the complexity in these systems? The answer is no. It becomes clear that we need a framework or language for us to talk about all models at once, and that is probability theory. Probability theory provides a framework for modeling of complex systems. Although it is not possible to perfectly predict random events, much can be said about their behavior. For instance, common intuition tells us that if we toss a fear coin many times, then roughly half of the time it will turn up heads, and the other half it will turn up tails. The more often the coin is flipped, the more likely that the ratio of the number of heads to the number of tails will approach 1. Probability theory provides a formal version of this intuitive idea 
known as the law of large numbers. Now, we know what is probability and the probability theory. So what is the exact difference between probability and statistics? What we really want to compare is probability theory and inferential statistics, because these two are often compared with each other. So basically, our question is, what is the difference between probability theory and inferential statistics? To understand the difference between the two, I think it's helpful to start with understanding their relationships with observed data. As I mentioned earlier, probability theory is a mathematical framework able to capture the uncertainty in the outcome of an event we are trying to model. We can use probability theory along with knowledge of the rules of the experiment to design a model before the experiment has been taking place. It means that the probability solves problems even when there's no observed data. It tries to discover and model universal patterns. An example is the law of large numbers I mentioned earlier. On the other hand, inferential statistics mostly comes into play after an experiment has taken place and an outcome or data has been observed. The goal is often to recover a general probabilistic model from observed data. To this end, inferential statistics either assumes a theoretical model and estimates its parameters from the data such as sample means and sample variations, or it could try to infer the general model directly. Essentially, for inferential statistics, we are given the data and ask what model generated the data. For example, we might be told that we conducted five coin tosses and obtained five heads in a row, and ask what the likelihood is that the coin was a fair coin. So in summary, probability theory aims to provide an abstract framework to model seemingly unpredictable system. We can use the framework to reason from a population to a sample. It is deductive reasoning, and we don't need observed data to solve probability problems. By comparison, inferential statistics use either collected or observed data to infer general properties about the population. It reasons from the sample to the population, and we need data to make an inference. So the problem considered by probability theory and inferential statistics are kind of the inverse of each other. Now that you know the difference between probability theory and inferential statistics, if they are kind of like the inverse of each other, why do we often talk about them together? Next, let's look at the relationships between probability theory and inferential statistics. The relationship between the two is that we apply probability theory in statistics to draw conclusions from data. Probability theory provides a mathematical foundation for statistics, and statistics is the application of probability theory to fit model to observe data. So knowing the fundamentals of probability theory can help you understand how to conduct statistical inference. So probability theory and statistics are closely related. In fact, there are two schools of inferential statistics, Bayesian inference and the frequentist inference. The difference between them is based on their interpretations of what a probability means. The Bayesian approach interprets the probability as a degree of belief in an event. It specifies that there is some prior probability. The prior probability may be based on prior knowledge about the event, such as personal beliefs or assumptions about the event, or the results of previous experiments. It uses Bayes' theorem to compute and update probabilities after obtaining observed data. Any certainty you gain is conditional on having made the correct guess for the prior. By comparison, with frequentist approach, probability has measures in the context of repeating a measurement. As we measure something in a large number of times, the frequency of a given value indicates the probability of measuring that value. It views probability as a limit of the relative frequency of an event after many trials. Common use techniques such as hypothesis testing, confidence interval, and p-values are all frequentist techniques. So how to interpret probability is essential to choose what technique to use to conduct inferential statistics. I hope this video gave you guys some clarity on the difference between descriptive and inferential statistics, as well as the difference between probability and statistics. Basically, probability reasons from the population to the sample is deductive reasoning, while statistics reason from the sample to the population. They are also closely related, and the probability theory is used to conduct statistics. 
As always guys, I appreciate you for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel to get more content like this. I talk about data science interviews and learning data science in general. The tips and strategies I share will be helpful for you, especially if you are someone who is actively looking for jobs in the tech industry. Feel free to drop me a comment below if you have any questions or feedback. Stay tuned, I will see you soon.